Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to do a shop that we've done quite a lot on this channel, but I haven't dived into this particular shop for quite a while. Now, this shop has recently decided to do home delivery, i.e. home delivery. <laughs> um, and for that reason, I grabbed this stuff. Now, I was gonna go out and physically buy the stuff from the actual shop but unfortunately my back has took a turn for the worse and I'm having a lot of pain on my right side of my spine as well as my left spine left spine left side of my spine so a combination of two has made things a little bit hard to get about I've also got a sore throat guys I don't have COVID I've had tests I think it's just I'm a little bit run down with everything that's going on in my body so I decided, I've seen this on the um, Halloween page, which I'm going to do the shout out because I think it deserves it. I will slip snippets of it here or here, whatever side I do. And it's the UK Halloween ISO 2020 page. Now, I don't normally follow the Halloween pages apart from um, the one that I followed since day one, which is um, Lizzie, the Haunted Bats page. If you don't know, she's a big YouTuber. I normally go on her page, but since finding this one, I've been kind of on here and having a look at a lot of the nice things that they do. So let's get stuck into it, guys. Um, so yeah, that is the Halloween page. The lovely Lauren Griffiths does a lot of running about for this group. People like the ISO, obviously you put your list of your items that you want to get hold of, which you can't get hold of. I've actually done that myself. Out of that, I have managed to grab two of my ISO things. One of them I don't think I'll ever get now, but I'm happy with what I've got. Um, it's complete as far as I'm concerned. And if you wanna go and check that out, guys, I will link it in the description box. We've still got plenty of time before Halloween is going to be close upon us. A lot of people are still preparing for Halloween and buying. Because we don't know if we're gonna be here for Halloween, I'm a little bit like this at the minute, whether to buy any more decorations, but I do genuinely have a lot of decorations as it is. So I think I'm probably not gonna buy any more as far as 2021 goes. Um, also, um, go and check out Scabby13, Craig and Jen's channel. They're doing really, really well. Um, they do buy a hell of a lot of Halloween decor either from TK Maxx, The Range, Hall Bargains, wherever they can get their hands on. And I've been following their story of what they've been grabbing as well. Also, I would like you to go and check out Moon Witch's Lair. Oh, we've, we've connected and made a very good friendship. Um, I'm not gonna say by first name basis because I don't know if she wants anyone to know her first name, but we get on really, really well. And we've recently been discussing a few things about Halloween and, you know, how many things are out there and the cost of it and so far. So that's it guys. So go and check out the UK Halloween ISO 2021 page. I've linked it up here so you can see it. I'll link it down below. Also Scary 13 and Moon Witch's Lair. And we all know the Haunted Bats. So I will put it all in the description box below. Anyway guys, before my throat gives in, I'll give you a clue of what delivery has come today. It has arrived today and I'm gonna get it out of the way because I need the box to go towards my packaging. <laughs> Free boxes, just order online. So this is the poundland.co.uk guys. Finally, they've decided to do home delivery. As you know, I have featured a pound shop on my channel before, but it was literally the poundshop.co.uk. It wasn't anything to do with Poundland. Um, since seeing this, I am so happy. I will probably dip into this every month for necessities without me having to go out to the shop, having to carry a load of stuff and break my back. So before I got into this guys, I have got another one coming. It's only a tiny little one. My talk's going. When I did the first order for this, they didn't have them two items in the listing. I do actually want the ghosts, but you know, chances are I probably won't get my hands on them. I'm not too bothered to be honest with you. I've got quite a lot of stuff. But the other ones that are coming is two more of these, which are the pumpkin cups. I got two last year. I've got two this year. They are 
just standard cups. Um, I know that Home Bargain are also doing pumpkin cups, slightly different to these. I have picked up one of them, I'll show you in my next video. And they're also doing the cauldron cups. As last year they were plain black, which I prefer them to be plain black, to be honest with you. Um, now they've got gold stars on them, but I've ordered two of them and two of the cauldron to go with my collection. And now I've got a full set of cauldron mugs and a full set of pumpkin mugs in black and in orange so i'm happy about that so let's get stuck in guys let's waffle in rachel and more showing what we've got so in this it says poundland a little bit of a little bit of a paragraph to read great it says hey there i might look like an ordinary box but i'm doing my bit to help the planet i'm reusable and totally recyclable my loose filled chips are 100 biodegradable and compostable too made from sustainable stub stain I've said it's sustainable materials such as maize starch. Please give them a new lease of life to make your garden grow or simply dissolve them in water. Sustainability is a big deal for all of us. That's why the team at Poundland is working hard to introduce more biodegradable, compostable and recyclable packaging options in the future. And it goes without saying this little message is printed on recyclable paper too. So that's, that's good, that's cute. Now, I'm gonna be using this box anyway, so I won't be recycling it just yet, but once I'm finished with it, I will go ahead and I'll recycle it. So that's fantastic, Poundland, nice to see. Um, now I've got my order receipt in front of me. It tells me how much it was. All this came to 20 pound in total, including the shipping fee. Delivery was four pound, which is a bit, it's a bit much if you only want to buy two cups and then you're only paying two pound cups and paying four pound for your delivery. But I can understand four pound delivery for what I've got is perfect. But for the next order, I've only got four cups in there. Mind you, pound cups, not too bad, I suppose. But if you're only wanting to order a couple of things, it could be a little bit too much. But it's still, it's Poundland and finally we're getting deliveries and I'm happy about that. So I've only ordered a couple of things, guys, to be honest with you. But it came to £20 in total. It's a pound shop. How many people spend way too much in pound shop? Me. So, as they've said, recyclable paper. It says all over this paper, I'm 100% recyclable. But I'm going to keep that paper anyway, guys, because with me moving, I need to package a lot of globes, a lot of breakable things, so, including these, which will have to be shipped again. So, first things first. I wasn't too sure about getting these guys. I was like, mm, might be a bit tacky, might not be my kind of thing. Looking at it now, it might not be my taste <laughs> aesthetically. So I don't know, but we'll see if I can get my hands on it. They have bubble wrapped everything really, really well, which I think is really important when you're shipping such items as these. As you can see, they have well wrapped them up. Oh, it's quite big actually. Right, so I spotted these and I thought, oh, I do like the look of these, but they looked a lot smaller. They're bigger than I expected, <laughs> but never mind. We get this kind of thing, like last year I got these from Poundland, the succulent ones, and I absolutely love them. So maybe these can go on top of there and I'll move the pumpkin ones and put them on top. So I got this one. It's in like a, it is pot actually, I thought it was wood, but it's actually a pot, cauldron pot, and they've got this, fake floral design which doesn't look that bad actually it looks quite nice i don't mind it it just looks a bit tacky as i first opened it but if you bend it all out because it's all a bit bent in at the minute because of the way it's been packaged if you bend it out and straighten out the flowers and so forth i reckon it'd look quite nice everything's kind of bent at the minute because of the way it's been packaged but I'll straighten it all out and over the time it'll start to settle back into its original setting. But yeah, I grabbed one of these guys and this was £4 I think it was. I'm gone, was it? £5. £5 guys. So that was my first item which bumped it up a bit with it being £5. But I do actually like it. I'm just going to put it here so you can still see it in the shop. And then I got another one guys. Um, but I got the orange one. Now I probably would have, I probably wouldn't have picked these up or went into the actual shop and seen how big they were. I probably wouldn't have picked them up for that reason, but I do actually like her. I just need the succulents to sort of sit in the right place because all I can see is the back to front of them. But this one, 
is an orange one. I kind of like the orange one. So the orange one is more of a pumpkin, like in this design. I see where they're going with this. And then obviously the cauldron pot goes with the cauldron cup. Excuse me, guys. That was so rude of me. I've not been very well, guys, so uh, sleep's been very, very hit and miss. But yeah, I like that. I like the little flower that they have in here. Some of the flowers you can tell is like <laughs> really tacky looking flowers, like these, these looking things. Um, you could actually take these out, guys. They do come out. So you could possibly take all this out and just use the pot and put your own plants in. Ha! Which that I might do, guys, because I've got a lot of plants that are self-growing at the minute. I might just take these out and put them in a little vase somewhere else and use, yeah, and use these pots for real plants. So you could do that. The only thing is there's no drainage in it. That's the only issue that you're going to have. But yeah, that was that. £5 each, guys. So that was £10 for them too. And remember, these are pots. They're not like plastic or anything. Let's so make sure that doesn't fall off the chair and break because that would be just a Rachel thing to do. Next I got was um, a lacy tablecloth just so I can put it over the red tablecloth in the kitchen to give it that Halloween design. Um, I'll probably will keep this all year round to be honest with you. This was a pound guys, it just says lacy tablecloth a pound. Um, it doesn't say, how, oh yeah. So it's 101 by 78 centimetres, so not bad, pretty big, so it'll probably fit my standard size table. So that was that guys. And then I grabbed one. Oh god, this is probably the heaviest out of the lot. And then that's just the empty box with the recyclable paper in, which I'm going to put all the packaging back in there guys, because it, it's going to get used again. And then once I finish using it I'll recycle it but yeah brilliant right let's get stuck into this one I don't know what this one is so with it being a pound line guys obviously some things are more than a pound at pound line they always have not manager special and stuff I used to work at pound world not pound land but they used to stock pretty similar things I can't remember what this is oh yeah I can so they've wrapped it up well guys to be honest with you I think you know it's wrapped up as well as it can be wrapped up. The only thing I probably would have done was still tape that together, but that it was still together. So there have a three different designs of these guys. I may just grab if they could find another couple of the different mouth design, I may grab another one. And this is is it resin, resin pot kind of thing. But yeah, cheap and effective. It's well made to be honest with you guys. It's not it is kind of white. You'd imagine that this is going to be the white ceramic kind of pot and then they've painted it. But yeah, they've done a good paint job of it. So that was that guys. Again, this was a pound. Let me just put these two down here now. I've moved that box. So 10, 11, 12 pounds so far. And then you've got your four pound delivery. Then I bought these because I thought this was probably the nicest out of the lot. Now last year we had cauldron candles, if you remember, we had the black cauldron candles and we had the gold cauldron candles. I bought two of the black because I have a cauldron burner. I also have a cauldron back burner. So I kind of like the idea of carrying on the cauldron effect. So I can have one shelf that's based around cauldron, one shelf based around pumpkin decor. Obviously anything that's kitchen will stay in the kitchen. So they did take this up guys, well taped up, well wrapped, yay! So here we have the pumpkin candles and it says Han mandarin and patchouli scent. Ooh, poor. Mm, that actually just smell like Halloween. Yeah, that is really strong guys. That was stronger than the cold ring candles that we had last year. So I got, I got a few of them guys. So I got one, two, as you can see, they're quite heavy guys, they're not a, these are probably a more of a sustainable material than these, as these are quite hollow, as this is quite a sturdy pot, these were probably would have took a lot to crack, but as you can see, they are well painted, so I got two, three, 
four. <laughs> so I just got four of them guys. So one, two, three, four, which brought it up to £20. Now, I'm not going to do a video of the other one that comes because it is basically, guys, two of these with gold on. I'll stick a picture up here so you can see the exact one that they've got going on in store at the minute. And then, obviously, they've got these as well from last year. They had these and two more of these. I really do prefer the ones from, um, not prefer, but I do like the home bargain ones. But saying that, I like these better because they're orange all the way through as the home bargain ones are white inside as these ones follow it all the way through which make it look more of a pumpkin mug than that one and I absolutely love the cauldron mugs guys for the price one pound each they're really worth it I've paid 9.99 for a, mold, a cauldron mug it actually I should the Moon of Stars bought it me I've still got that which is why I want to carry on getting some more of these cups and these are just to break it up a little bit but yeah so two of the four of these in total guys is to go with this and I do want to grab the ghost lights, but I'm not too bothered if I manage to get it or not. Like I said, my back's not being too good. I'm trying not to be going out now and just resting, see if I can get it settled down again. Um, probably because I really did do a good balance with my pain, and then I've gone and ruined it all by running up and down TK Maxx here, there, Birmingham, everywhere. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it. That is. So we take a look at this cloth before we wrap this up and see what it's like because i've always seen aisha the moon and stars buy things like this and she i think she cuts it and puts it over her lampshades to make it like that really creepy yeah it's not that big guys to be honest with you i think aisha was using these to go over her light shade now i have got a big lamp over there that that would kind of look really nice over the top of it so I might try it. If it looks nice, I'll keep it like that. And I'll probably buy another two of these guys for my table. I've got a table here, so maybe I can put one on the table here and another one on the table out there. So yeah, I think I'll get another two of these for that reason. With that said, guys, that is it. That is Poundland. I'm quite happy. Well packaged. Thank you, Poundland. Really well packaged. All right, guys, take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one, which is coming after this one. And um, I'll see you very, very soon. Oh, is that again? I'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.